thanks. <laughs> All right, let's get on. We got artists, we got musicians Woo! to get to here this evening. So tonight's performers. Uh, first up, we have Nicholas Runkel. Nick, if you come on, turn on your camera and come talk to us for a little bit here. Hey, hey, how's it going? Going well, how about yourself? Ah, doing really well. All right, so you've, you've made it through three weeks. How's the competition been so far? Holy cow, it's been great. Um, it's been amazing to be up here with such great musicians and artists, um, supporting a really great cause. Uh, it's near and dear to most of us in this world. Uh, I read today that cancer can affect up to 1.8 million U.S. citizens a year. And uh, believe it or not, at some point in your life, you will be touched by someone who has felt this. For me, it, it was my wife. She finished her cancer treatment last year, um, and she's doing great now. She's a cancer survivor, and I'm real proud of her. And that's part of the reason why I'm here right now. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, when, it, when you first told us that story, it was just like, when we find out just what connects us. And, and there's so much in the world, I think, to bring us together. And right now we'll use Zoom, but let's get back in the real world. Let's get back to having this as a concert. I'm really excited to meet you in person. We've never actually met in person. Right. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. And then Ashley, Ashley decided to uh, do something new this week and pretty much stalk your Instagram. So with that, uh, we're hoping you can tell us a little bit about what this picture is, which was captioned, I think I was cool. I once. used to be cool. I used once. to be cool once. What is yeah. that? Is, what that are we... cool? um, is that your first car? What is this? <laughs> that was the first car I ever purchased. Um, I had another car before that. It was an Isuzu Amigo that my mom gave to me. But this was one I had to get the loan myself. And uh, it's funny, I was with my friend Luke Babish, who's probably watching tonight. Hi, Luke. Uh, we were going on our way to church and we went right past that car and I was like, ooh, I mean, I'm, I'm doing the good thing. I'm doing the right thing. This is a sign for me to get this car. And I convinced my mom that that was part of the story. Um, so I, I got to get that 67 Mustang. Um, I did not know how to work on cars though, so it did not last long because I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, Nick, uh, coming to us from Evanston. What are you playing tonight? Tonight, uh, you know, you, if you were tuned in last week, you know, I promised Rikido that if I ever got the first draw, which uh, lo and behold, I did. Good thing you explained the situation. Uh, I'd play a song reminiscent to his opening track uh, that he did the first of week one. And I think that song is called Easy Girls. It's by Rikido, Rikido, Rikido. You may have heard of Rikido. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just one name, Rikido, but he did say it a lot last week. I really love that performance too. Anyway, this song I'm playing tonight was written around 2002. Uh, I had noticed that a lot of my songs, though thought-provoking and somber, often very melancholy, were never upbeat. So I set out to write an upbeat love song. Um, at the time, I didn't have a romantic interest, so it was a totally fictitious girl. But thanks to Rikido's song, I now know that this song was about a girl from Rosemont. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas Runkle, the stage is yours. Thank you for being here. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks for sharing your time with me. Uh, this song is called Pants.
Thank you. There's that there's that balance between the the upbeat rhythm that you have for it, but it's still this like deepness in your voice that was just this wonderful little duel. I I like what you did there, Babs. We're gonna start with you, and let's let's hear what you thought here. I took good notes. Um, again, how old were you when you wrote that? Twenty two. Twenty two. Okay. Yeah. Um, I actually for your first effort at like attempting a love song or a ballad, um. I think both of the messages that you had between like the idea of this fantasy girl and it's a little bit childish, but it's still got a lot of structure towards a serious ballad. You know, it's got, it did, you, you struck both points. And at that age, um, it's okay that it's a little juvenile, obviously, but um, I don't know. I think that it, it speaks to your natural writing ability that you could do both of those things and be a silly little stupid 22 year old, but also say something really meaningful to this idealized woman. Like, nice. Thank you. <laughs> <It's> romantic. <laughs> uh -huh. it, was, it, it definitely way more advanced than my songs were at 22. Yes. Yes. So, way, way kinda, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Vince. Yeah, uh, I, I agree with that. Joe, uh, Joe wrote a song at 22 called Floppy Nut. So I think it was more advanced <laughs> than, uh, than uh, Joe's song. Uh, you know, I, you, you had me hooked before you even played your first note. I saw your, I saw your handle was Beastie Noise, and then I saw it was similar to Jewel, Bright Eyes, and Tracy Chapman. And I thought just that juxtaposition between those two was, was fantastic. So I was, already, I was already locked into who you were before you even sang the first note. Um, I, I, liked, uh, I liked that you, at 22 years old, you still had enough foresight to ask permission to put the hands down the pants. I thought that was good, too. The way you were able to just, uh, be polite about it. If I wrote that song at 22, I'd be in jail today for it. So I think it was, uh, it was a good way of bringing that about. Um, I, think, I think there's a formula for an acoustic hit, and I think it's G, C, E minor, D. And I think, I think that's what you wrote there. Is, uh, and, and, but it's hard that's been so done to where it's hard to tell that it's not, you know, uh, every rose has its thorn by poison when people play those notes now. And you were able to throw a whole different melody towards it. And uh, I always judge what I like by my ability to remember it later. And I'm going to be singing hand down my pants later today. So great job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Nick, Nick, thank you for being here. Oh, really yeah. appreciate thank it. Thank you guys. Thanks, Nick. All right. So you can vote for Nick. Uh, to vote for Nick, go on the site. So again, you have to go over to openmic.community. Right below the video on there, you're gonna see a vote button. You can vote for any of our artists tonight. It is $3 a vote, but that's, that's what's going to the donation.